How's it going? Motor City Miner coming at you from my home in Detroit today, not the farm. Uh, we are down in my basement where I used to do a lot of my mining a long time ago. Uh, we're mostly out of here at this point. Uh, just got a little space heater rig here and just four 6700 XTs mining Kapow right now to create some heat in the basement. Again, my house is a small row house, so I think it's like 600 square feet down here, so that's usually good enough. I do have a Octaminer down here. There's nothing in it as you can see. Um, currently just servicing this. Uh, brought to my house to blow out uh, with leaf blower, but uh, it's raining today, so it's just down here waiting. Um, but yeah, this is uh, what's left of my mining really in the in my house, minus the couple space heaters I have throughout. Um, and this really is just mini uh, mini miners essentially um, low heat um, so we got as you can see four G1 minis here from Ipolo um, we do have a Chia miner the evergreen going and then we do have a future bit uh, full BTC node and some of the attachments um, I've always kind of liked the idea of the mini miner you know decentralization people being able to mine in their home um, these aren't really, well I guess the Chia is very profitable, but uh, the other ones aren't like super profitable and I'm pretty sure the BTC actually is not. But uh, today we're actually down here because you can probably hear in the background like a small grinding sound. So normally in my house I try to keep everything silent, that's why we got the open air rig. Um, you can't hear this at all. And usually over here it's pretty quiet, but there is a... A little hum coming in. It's actually from this guy right here. He just started making a grinding sound, so I think that uh, one of the fans has gone bad. So we're actually going to open them up. I've never opened up one of these G1 minis. You know, didn't want to uh, avoid the warranty. I got all these warranty stickers, as you can see. Um, but these are now out of warranty. I've had them for well over a year at this point. Um, so I might as well open it up, see what I can do, uh, see what's in here, and it's probably just fan replacement, but I also am just curious what's in these. Um, Ipolo describes these as an FPU, um, so I don't really know what that means. Uh, online it just says it sounds similar to an FPGA, um, but part of me thinks these are ASICs, and I think a lot of other people think these are ASICs, but I've never really seen these opened up. So excited to get this guy opened up here for us, and we'll see what's going on in here and replace this fan. So uh, we'll be bringing this over on top of the op to minor for now. <laughs> I don't really have anywhere else to work down here. I don't really do much down here anymore. So we'll bring them over here and start opening it up and get going on that. All right, so we're back. Got our eye pull over here. We're gonna start by opening it up. It's just uh, just Phillips heads on this. Uh, Phillips head two specifically. Um, so we'll get all these open here see, and see what's in here. It'll take just a moment. There's eight screws, four on each side. Gotta break this seal here. Not that I can see where the screw is. There we go. There goes my warranty that I don't have anyway. Now once we get this open, I am going to have to plug it back in to try and see figure out where that sound actually is coming from. So, Not really sure how this opens, if it slides out or what, or if these end pieces just pop off. I guess we'll find out here. Oh, okay, looks like it just slides up and out. Alright, I guess that works. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, Let's see if we can show this a little better. So, it looks like there's like the shell, um, the 
plates just kind of actually mount to the shell directly, it looks like. Completely independent of what's inside, so um, you can see that we've got the bottom plate here and the other plate. So let's see what this what this actually looks like. So this is I'm gonna pick up the camera now. All right, so this is the inside of an iPolo G1 Mini. Apparently, uh, <laughs> pretty interesting little little guy here, I guess. Uh, so it looks like it has a, a metal frame that's been custom fabricated that they then mount um, some of these fans to, let's two on each side. Looks like we got a board of some type. This looks like this looks like the hash board. So the hash board's on the left side and you can kind of see the sorry for the shadow there. You can kind of see the, the copper going to the heat sink here. Um, so pretty small. That's pretty small. Again, I don't I guess I don't know if it's truly an ASIC chip or an FPGA or what. Um, again, iPolo brands this as an FPU. I'm not really sure exactly what that means. And then on this side it looks like we got hmm, maybe something similar to I can't really tell in here to be honest. Probably like it looks like a Raspberry Pi, some type. Uh, it's hard to see. I'm also not that familiar with Raspberry Pis, but it kind of looks like one. So I'm gonna assume it's something similar, if not one. Um, and then you can see we do have four. These are the four fan pins. Uh, so these are. It's interesting, this is the second time I've encountered a uh, 2x2 for a fan. Uh, the other place was on my Avalon Bitcoin miners. So let's see what else is here. This looks like the power, this black 6-pin, brings 6-pin to the hash board. Um, and then this is your data between the hash board and the main PC. It looks like maybe this could have accommodated more hash boards in a bigger unit. Um, I'm curious if, you know, this Raspberry Pi or whatnot, whatever it is, is, uh, you know, the same one that's used in its bigger brother, the G1 non-mini from iPolo. Um, alright, so, we actually have to flip this over, though. And now, so, let's give her a flip. We need to power this up, and this is where the power is. The power actually goes... Interesting. The power is straight into the hash board. So, I guess the act, what I said earlier is actually wrong. That um, that power cable is not sending power to the hash board. The hash board is sending power to the motherboard. Um, so that's interesting. Um, so yeah, uh, but we do need to power this up to figure out what fan is the issue. So, we're going to do that here. Um, I think we'll, let's see if we can rest this on something, let's, uh, let's, uh, maybe this will work. We'll just use our shell we have, why not, get this up a little higher. Um, alright, so, we're going to plug this in, uh, not, I'm not going to bother with the ethernet right now, so, we're just going to grab our power cord. Oh man, it's gonna be just short. That I mean I have all this nice wire management over here. Uh shoot. Yeah. Let's see if there's a there's a way to make this work. Alright, so with uh, minor adjustments we are now able to reach here, so that's good. So we're going to plug this in. It's really hard to do one handed. Um let's see what happens. All right, so it is powering up. Fans are spinning here. Um, and now they're not. Okay, that's weird. Wonder if I do need the Ethernet. It's very possible I do need the Ethernet. Nope. Never mind. There it goes. Um, so let's see if we can find the problem fan here. One of these got to be the problem. So the ones on this side sound okay. 
I don't think it's either of these two. So I'm thinking it's probably one of these guys. I personally think it's this top one. That's my guess. Uh, but we'll have to unplug this and give it a give it a try. So I'm gonna unplug this real quick. And we're going to unplug this pin right here. So let's see. I'm trying to do this live. Well, not live, but you know, as I go through it. <laughs> But a little difficult with one hand. So, let's see. I'm gonna have to get the bottom one out of the way first, unfortunately. So, let's, there we go. That one's out of the way. So now the problem, one I think is the problem. You can unplug that. We'll plug in the bottom one back in. There we go. Again, these are those uh, two by two fan pins, so. Yeah, well, let's see how this does with that fan on powered. See if we've eliminated our sound issue. Well, it is definitely silent, so that fan is, this one here, this top one is definitely the issue. So we're gonna have to get a replacement for that guy. Uh, let's see if we can figure out what size these are. These looks like uh, uh, it looks like it's a what are these 60 millimeter by 20 depth. So that's what we're gonna have to try and find. I don't have any fans um, at the moment because again, never even opened one of these before. So we're gonna have to order. Another one of these, and actually, there's another one of these that is not as loud um, and grindy, so I think the bearing's not completely shot on it yet, um, but I might as well buy two fans while I'm at it, so I will open that one up and see what fan on there needs to be replaced, but, you know, um, just do that on the side, and then, yeah, we'll fo have a follow-up video once I get those fans in. Um, showing you know just quick replacement but it looks like it should be pretty easy so we're gonna unplug this for now and put this back together just so I can keep mining on it and I mean the noise isn't that bad so 